Okay, so uh, one of the most common things that's gonna happen in off-trail riding, it's just the nature of what you're out doing, you're gonna get stuck. Um, if you're in a situation like this, there's a few key things that are gonna make this um, a more enjoyable experience, even though it's not that fun. Uh, first of all, always try and flag down a buddy for help. That's gonna make this go as fast as possible with as little effort as possible. So I had my friend park uh, facing downhill so it's easy for him to get back going once we're done with this and away from my machine so that we can actually get the my sled moved around um, without interacting with his. So take your helmet off, make sure it's in a spot where it's not going to get any snow in it. So I would usually hand it to your friend, make sure you're not going to get snow in your goggles or in your face shield, whatever helmet you have. Now there's a few key things to getting this snowmobile unstuck. We're going to pack down the snow on this side once we've established that we want to get out from the most open, easy area that's gonna be facing downhill when we get the sled turned a little bit. Um, that way we can pretty much just ride the thing out after we move the sled. Um, so like I said, we're gonna pack the snow, lift the rear end over onto that packed snow so that gets it angled this way a little bit and then we're gonna pull the skis around so it's more of a facing downhill position um, out into the open where we can ride out easily without any obstruction. Okay guys, so we're gonna start digging out right now. If you have happened to rent one of our snow safety backpacks, this would be a perfect time to take out the shovel that's included in the backpack, and you can use that to get quite a bit of snow moved away with little effort. If you don't have something like that, I suggest using your boots and hands, with your gloves on obviously, um, to get the snow kind of out of the way, packed down, so that we can lift the tunnel up and over onto this position and try and get the sled to get out. All right, what do you think, Michael? I think we're ready. Okay, so you can see now that we've got the, the rear track out of its trench and the running boards are no longer high centered on top of the snow. Now we're gonna move the front end around, get it on top of the snow as well. That'll create little resistance. It will be able to drive right out of here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay guys, so we just about have the sled out right now. Um, in a lot of situations you can ride right out of here. In some you may need your friend to still give you a little bit of a ski pull on this ski loop right here. A couple things, you wanna make sure um, you're absolutely not putting your friend in any danger. So that means make sure they stay the direction that you're not going with the snowmobile. Right now the snowmobile is gonna travel downhill to the right. So they're gonna grab onto this handle and stay on this side of it. That way when I get going, they can just let go after about a foot of pulling and I'm off and away. Okay, so if you happen to have rented that snow safety pack that I mentioned earlier, this would be a great time for your friend to use the snow bungee. Um, he'll hook it right onto the handle here. It'll quadruple the amount of force that he has and be able to let that person stand even further out of the way. Um, it's gonna just make this a process a lot easier. One, two, three. Okay, if you've rented one of, our, one of our snow safety packs, 
Included in the safety pack is a snow bungee. This is going to assist you in getting unstuck. So as far as getting unstuck, you go through the same process as if you don't have a snow bungee. The difference is once the machine's dug out and all ready to go, you're going to take the snow bungee and this little hook, you're either going to hook it on the ski lift and it's going to fit. Some of them will fit, some of them won't. Or you can hook it right on the A-arm just like this. You're going to stand kind of to the side of the machine so that this machine can come up past you. And uh, you're going to count to three with the person driving the machine so they know when to give it some gas. On the count of three, you're going to go one, two, three. You're going to give this a pull as they give it some gas. And that pull and stretch will actually increase your pulling force and help pull that uh, snowmobile out of that stuck hole.